This is the 2022 Nissan Terra and with it comes a redesigned exterior, a fresh interior, and an array of features that will surely make your trips more enjoyable. Hey guys, Kevin here, you're with the Modern Creatures and welcome to another video. Should this be your next SUV? Join us in this video, find out. Okay, so first things first, for its exterior up front, I really like that it now has a different style from the previous model, the previous Terra. The new headlights, for example, look more piercing now with its quad LED light setup. And Nissan says the headlights are now brighter by 34% to be exact. Another thing I noticed is that it now comes with better looking inverted L-shaped DRLs or daytime running lights which positively add flair to its front fascia. Additionally, looking towards its revised bumper, we see these fog lamps that now come with thicker bezels and are simply more noticeable compared to the 2020 Nissan Terra. And it also has this larger grille with a new design that really makes the front more prominent and more defined. For the rear, its fresh LED taillights and new tailgate design are now more eye-catching compared to the more subdued look that its previous model had. Its new roof spoiler also makes this mid-size SUV a bit sportier and a sprinkle of chrome and silver accents add bling to the exterior. Nissan also included a skid plate for the rear bumper for added protection when you bring this vehicle on roads less traveled. And rounding up its exterior are these 18-inch alloy rims with black and chrome finish. I personally like how it now has its own look, its own design since it gives it more personality as a vehicle and also it stands out more when you see it on the road. Inside, things have been updated as well and it now looks really premium with its two-tone styling made special by this burgundy leather, which by the way is only available on higher-end models from the lineup. And if you look closely, the attention to detail for this new Terra is simply impressive and is a treat for the senses. The new layout now has a more segmented approach and I personally prefer it that way because it's simply easier on the eyes. The air vents are also now slimmer and therefore sleeker. Both the flat bottom steering wheel and gear selector are sportier and the larger 9-inch infotainment system is definitely a welcome addition. Now this is one of the best infotainment systems we've experienced so far. From the responsiveness of the touch display, the layout of the user interface and even the combo of touch and physical inputs, it's a high-end piece of tech that easily upgrades the experience inside the vehicle. Moving on, the company's zero gravity seats previously offered on other Nissan models are also seen here but Nissan says they further improved on that and are now providing better and comfier support that are very useful for your family's long trips. And speaking of your family, the second and third row seats fold up to different configurations depending on what they need. And with the toggle of the vehicle's fold and tumble switch, the second row folds for easier access to the third row. Once you're back here, you're then treated to an array of comfort features. First is the 11-inch overhead passenger's display. By connecting another device via HDMI situated on the third row, you can instantly play different content like stream your favorite movies on Netflix or, you know, <clears throat> watch a really great YouTuber. Anyway, so while I drive for my wife, she can comfortably relax the back seat, complete with entertainment. And of course, long trips won't be complete without power sources for our devices. The new Terra comes with a total of 5 ports for charging for the front, second, and third rows. And the kicker, two of which are USB Type-C ports for faster charging. It even has this wireless charging now which is super convenient. Just toss in your compatible phone in there and that's it, no need to fumble with wires while you're driving. For the interior, everything here inside just feels premium and looks premium as well. From the build quality, the material, it just screams of sophistication. And to quickly dive in on its key features, the new Terra has cruise control so you can just set a certain speed for the machine to take over and maintain. It's still not adaptive though which would then be better and safer. But to help you navigate and play media, the 9-inch infotainment system is complete with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And what I personally like is that it still combined touch functionalities with physical buttons and knobs so that you don't always need to take your eyes off the road for simple inputs like adjusting the volume or even navigating through the menu. A really nice touch, pun intended, for safer operation. 
and a feature that would really help a lot of drivers is its 360 degree camera system that shows you a bird's eye view of the vehicle, revealing obstacles that may be easily overlooked. With it, parking even in tight spaces is a simple task and it even activates on its own when it detects an obstruction like people nearby. This 4x2 model is powered by a 2.5-liter turbocharged diesel engine mated to a 7-speed automatic transmission. After driving the Nissan Terra through different road conditions, on the highway, through unpaved roads, and through rain, uh, mostly through rain, you can really feel the heft of this vehicle. You can really feel the bulk and the weight, basically. And it takes some getting used to. But after a while, especially if you picked up speed, it becomes easier, it becomes a lot more manageable. But to add to that, its tech features make up for its bulk, make up for its weight, since you've got uh, cameras all around, 360, and you have sensors as well, and you have these safety features like lane departure warnings. So it will really help you and it will really make things easier. You also have your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay support and even the wireless charging which Vika really really enjoys. And the fact that it not just comes with one but two USB-C ports makes this a really modern vehicle. You'll really know that it's meant to be a modern vehicle and riding it makes you feel legit like a modern creature. And even while you're high up, you're situated high up, you don't really feel much of the bumps and it's a very smooth ride and I'm not actually surprised since I've also tried the previous Terra as well as the Navara and they're both comfortable to drive and to ride in so I'm not really surprised that it has the same performance for the new Nissan Terra. In terms of power, the engine really packs a punch and we didn't experience any shortage of power even though we needed to just overtake or pass someone on the highway and even just conquering steep inclines, the engine could really deliver. In terms of safety and driver assist technology, the Nissan Terra is loaded. It has an intelligent emergency braking system for vehicles in front, which gives warning to the driver and applies automatic brakes when needed. It also has lane departure and blind spot warning that signals you through visuals and sounds if there are vehicles near you that may potentially result in danger. And as mentioned earlier, it comes with moving object detection thanks to its intelligent around view monitor to ensure that you see everything happening around you. In a nutshell, the 2022 Nissan Terra is a great mid-size SUV for the entire family. It looks a lot sleeker now with the revisions done to its exterior. The interior is also fresh and looks very premium. The cabin is equipped with a lot of creature comforts to ensure your kids will be entertained the entire trip, an entire lineup of safety tech, and finally, it packs power that will deliver anytime you demand it. The Nissan Terra comes in four different variants, but the 4x2 VL model that we have retails at 1,999,000 pesos. If you're the adventurous type, you might want to consider the 4x4 variant so you could easily bring it to more places. And that was our 2022 Nissan Terra review. As always, visit our website and follow us on our social media pages for more news, features, and reviews. Once again, that's it for me. I'm Kevin. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.